key areas to get right, these four key areas that I've broken down for your off-season. So number one, make sure that you get time away. The most important aspect uh, of the off-season is recharging and reboosting your energy. So you're able to time your run. It's a long pre-season and it's a long competitive season. So we want to make sure that you take the time away from the sport. So that doesn't mean go straight from playing football to going straight into like a marathon or, or a triathlon. Make sure you have time not competing for at least a couple of weeks. From a recovery point of view, uh, it's really important that you're having mental and physical recovery, as I just mentioned earlier. So things that can help your mental recovery, uh, catching up and doing things that you didn't have time for in season. So any of those things where they perked up and you had the urge to do something, but because of your commitments at football training, uh, as well as game day, uh, you just didn't either have the time or you didn't have the energy for them. So now's the time to do it. So for them, it's, so some that's going to be playing golf, for some it's going to be going for a surf. Others might be catching up with family members or traveling, whatever it might be. Number three, experiment. So the off season, you've actually, there is no game day. So it's a great time to play around with some different methodologies. Maybe you've, the coaches are giving you feedback on that your, your combat work, your, your contested work is, is lacking. So you need to work on that. So why not throw yourself in an environment like boxing, MMA, practice grappling with athletes and not just footballers, but other type of uh, athletes, wrestling, all these type of getting yourself in a situation where you're learning from the best at what they do in that specific environment. So you'll, you'll get a lot out of that, not only physically, but also mentally as well, because it's a different stimulus. Um, so it's nice to mix it up and get a lot of variation. And then, like I mentioned before, with the recovery mental side, uh, the importance of having hobbies outside of your sport. So if you haven't got one and you're obsessive about football, actually try and find something outside of sport, whether that be um, maybe you make a DJ um, music playlist or you take up some arts and crafts, you take up horse riding, like I mentioned, I saw surf, golfing are some popular hobbies. So whatever it is, try some different activities and throw yourself on the deep end in practicing and developing some new skills outside of sport that have nothing to do with sport. You're not doing it. You're not doing that hobby to be a better footballer. You're just doing that um, to play and, and have fun. Okay, going into our next topic, strength. Uh, the three key areas that I've broken down for your strength development in the off season. Lengthening is strengthening. So we're not powerlifters. You don't need to lift maximum weights on the football field, but you do need to be strong. What, what we do need is to be able to be strong in all different planes of movement and through all different types of, of range of motion. So if it's something like a ground ball, you need great mobility through your ankles, hips, and spine. So that's why lengthening for a footballer, lengthening is strengthening, and the off-season is the best time to really focus on that. 